Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can drastically reduce mouse and keyboard delay for all games on Windows 10 or 11. Make sure to watch this video till the end for better performance. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, first things first is the mouse settings. And for that, you have to search for mouse settings on your PC. Once you're over here, you have to click on additional mouse settings. And once you are over here, go over to pointer options. Once you're in pointer option, you'll find motion in which your pointer speed should be set to the sixth tick. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth tick right over here. Make sure to disable enhanced pointer precision because it will put drag on your mouse. Once that is done, simply click on apply. Second is the keyboard settings and for that search for keyboard settings. And once you're over here, you'll find two things. First is the repeat delay and second one is the repeat rate. Make sure that you set the repeat rate to the highest possible and then the repeat delay should be on the third one. Then you have cursor blink speed, doesn't really matter. I've set this thing to the fifth last, simply click on apply. Next, you have to deanimate your windows and for that you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once you're over here, make sure to click on adjust for best performance. Click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to preserve the look of your windows but disable all unnecessary animations on your PC. However, you can also use save taskbar thumbnail previews. Three of them will help you to get better performance and reduce your input latency. Before moving on i would like to tell you about this amazing ease us partition master that helps you to manage your discs like pro it has amazing features like partition manager disc clone disc converter partition recovery bootable media and a hell load of features in the toolkit you can easily merge or split your drives migrate your operating system resize your disk space and so much more. It helps you to clone your disk to another disk and upgrade your hard disk very efficiently. Not just that, but you also get a one-click disk converter that allows you to convert your disk from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR in one single click. Moreover to that, you can also recover your lost partitions right from this application as well as create a bootable media and enable Partition Master Pre OS so you can install your windows very efficiently. And if that is not enough, we also have a live chat feature in this application that redirects you to the live chat of Ease Us so you can fix your issues with them personally. I personally use Ease Us Partition Master and I highly recommend you guys to use it to manage your disk space. It's really efficient and it makes every single thing easy. And you can even get a free version of it. Make sure to go check out Ease Us Partition Master from the link in the description below. Nextly, you have to search for Device Manager on your PC. Once you open this thing up, you have to locate your system devices. Then over here, you'll find Composite Bus Enumerator. Simply disable that. Then you'll find High Precision Event Timer somewhere in this list list you have to disable that as well to disable it you can right click on it and click on disable device you'll be seeing that option right over there you'll also find numeric data processor and sm bus controller you have to disable both of them then you have to open up your network adopters then open up your wi-fi card or your ethernet cable simply double click on that go over to power management and make sure that the first option is unchecked that is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power you always want this thing to be turned off simply click ok and then close device manager next is creating a restore point and for that simply search or create a restore point on your pc then over here you have to look for a local disk c click on create and name it input delay just so you can remember it from i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore every setting back to normal without any data loss you can do it last and most important is the keyboard and mouse latency fix pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below in which you'll find the first folder which is the batch files in here you'll find a ton of command prompts first one is bcd edit tweaks you have to right click and run this as administrator and so you have to do for all of them second one will clean your dns cache third one will clean your log files fourth one will clean your temporary files fifth one will disable high precision event timer if you have not already done it then it will disable memory compression on your PC because it runs a lot of processes on your PC which are not really required and it does not benefit in gaming so you can disable that. And lastly is disable mitigations. All of them will help you to reduce your input latency by a ton. Second folder is the X mouse button control. You have to simply install this application and then open up X mouse button control and once you're over here you will be on default setting now you have to click on the settings button over here then go over to advanced deselect the remap simulated input and click on debounce 
rapid mouse button clicks and set this thing to 1 millisecond. Then you have fix debounce tilt wheel auto repeat. Make sure to set the initial repeat rate to 200 milliseconds and then the repeat tilt rate should be 1. This one should be 1 as well. Click on disable inactivity timer while active for. Set this thing to 30 minutes and the windows low level hook timeout should be set to 200. For the CPU priority, you have to select high over here. This is the most important part. Simply click on OK and then simply click on apply. Otherwise, I have also left my gaming profile over here, which you can import straight in the application. Lastly is the filter key setter. You have to open this thing up and open up this application. Once filter key setter opens up, you have to click on on and deselect every other flag right over here. Ignore under set this thing to zero repeat delay set this thing to 150 and repeat rate should be 20 or you can set this thing to 25 once that is done simply click on apply once you're done with this drop into your game and let me know if this helps you with your input latency i hope this video helps you out make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome guides like this we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out